Hello, you all. What is going on? Thank you so much for tuning into your informational video for your destiny number or your expression number. My name is Jocelyn. I'm also known as J Renee. And again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And also, thank you so much for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly, greatly appreciated on a whole nother level. All right, so before I can get into what your destiny number means personally for you, let me just go ahead and give you a backstory of what your destiny number is defined as. So as you all know, in astrology, we have a sun sign and a moon sign. In numerology, we have a life path number or a and a destiny number. I'm sorry, not or, and a destiny number. So I feel personally feel like your destiny number is represented what your moon sign would be. So it's like a deeper knowing of who you are as a person or what you're supposed to be actually doing in this lifetime. So your destiny number again is what your mission is, is what you are meant to do or how you are meant to achieve your life purpose. So you can go by your life path number or you can go by your destiny number, whichever one resonates the most with you. It'll all be the same, but you just have to get to know yourself at a soul deeper level so that you can know how to work with those energies, just like what you would do in astrology for your um, astrology chart. So how you add up your destiny number is by your full birth name. So it'll be your first name, middle name, and last name, um, and the sum of those totals. So let's say if you were born and you didn't have a middle name, you would add up your first name and your last name. It's just what your birth given name was. So you would have to reduce the latter, the latter numbers into a single digit number or a root number. So like I said, like for the letter Z, the letter Z is the 26th letter of the alphabet. You will add two plus six and Z will be the letter eight. Now, if you can guys can just go by the chart that I have right here, or you can just Google um, a numerology destiny number calculator and then you'll just type in your name and they will give you your destiny number that way. So if the sum of your birth name became a destiny number five, this is the video for you. So as in astrology, you all know that the different signs are ruled by a planet. So in numerology, your um, life path number or your destiny number is ruled by a planet as well. So the vibration of a five is ruled by Mercury, that Gemini energy, that Virgo energy as well. So as a destiny number five, you are naturally, your sole mission is to live life to the fullest. Be that adventurous person, be that freedom seeker that you were meant to do. So a lot of destiny number fives, because based on just your energy or just based on your overall, you know, just your life path number, you guys can fear that adventure, but you just can do whatever it is you want. You can be that freedom seeker. You can be that go getter. A lot of destiny number fives, they like to do things like skydiving. When you are balanced, you like to do things like skydiving. You like doing things that other people weren't doing. You are really the person that literally tries things first. So if you even like go to a restaurant and there is like a dish at the restaurant that no one else has tried because you are that natural adventurous person, that freedom seeker, you will be willing to try the things first just because it's like that YOLO energy, like you only live once. So as far as a destiny number five, you naturally have that vibration. Now, you tend to have a lot of ups and downs as well as a destiny number five. Um, so like I said, you just have to balance within your energy. As far as like the ups and downs that you have, you tend to really look at what other people say. Um, a lot of times like you can be so adventurous that a lot of ideas that you do have, other people don't understand you because it's like you kind of think outside the box as well. And you have to understand that once you break out of those conditionings that life has given you or life has taught you, you are able to go and be that freedom seeker that you were meant to be. A lot of destiny number fives, you love to travel. You like to see new places, new people, new things. And as a destiny number five, you are meant to do that. You are meant to travel the world. You are meant to go wherever you want and just be that adventurer, be that adventurous spirit. Um, but because you are so free now, because you are just a very free number, you just like to, you know, 
move every day is a new day for you but because you are so free you tend to attract a lot of relationships so um you may have had a lot of like sexual partners you may have had just a lot of like boyfriend girlfriends just relationships in general or even just a lot of friendships because you are so free um you go with the flow of things as well you don't really you don't really like to be confined so if you are a person that is seeking marriage, that seeks that love partnership, the only thing you have to do is make sure that you live life to the fullest first and then seek that partner. Be ready to fully commit and fully settle down because if you just see someone that you are just attracted to, you think they're a good guy, you think they're a good girl, and you go ahead and settle down with them, you get bored too quick and you will try to move on to that next person. So that's why I said you just have to make sure that you live life to the best of your ability. You live life to the fullest. And then that's when you will be able to, you know what, I'm tired now. I want to find me a partner that I can also travel with. And then that's when you will be able to settle down and find that partner. So also as a destiny number five, um, it can have, like I said, that ups and downs. It can have its ups and downs because you are so free. So as far as a destiny number five, you do conflict with a lot of life path numbers. So let's say, for example, you are a destiny number five, but you have a life path of number four. It is going to be very, very challenging for you because fours is all about that grounded, um, being stuck in one place, you know, being comfortable in one place. And as a destiny number five, you want to go free. So just look at your numerology chart because sometimes your numerology chart can go back and forth with itself and especially like i said especially with the destiny number five because your mission is to be adventurous and then the number five vibration in itself conflicts with a lot of different numbers so you just have to balance your energy get to know yourself as like get to get that self-love and get to know yourself and then that's when you will be able to work with those energies just like you do in your astrology chart because you may have conflicting energies in your astrology chart as well also, as a destiny number five, you may be um, very restless. You may uh, feel like you got to be on the go. You have to be on moving. And that's because you're naturally, you're not a balanced number. So that's why you have to really start meditating more. Start getting into what you are as or who you are as a soul on a soul deeper level. And then once you can balance your energy, then you can go out and just go everywhere a lot of destiny number fives do tend to fear life because like i said based on like the social conditionings um or just you know just overall just how you grew up you know your parents may have been like really grounded and that's what makes it so hard as a destiny number five i personally feel like destiny number fives like once you get it through to your soul and once you kind of feel like wait a minute i'm my own person i can do whatever it is i want once you realize that your life can be really easy but if you don't have that realization a destiny number five can be one of the harder numbers to to overcome to like really like go after i personally feel like a destiny number five is very hard because it's kind of like you know like um when you go to like a swimming pool and then you like put your toe in the water and it's really really cold and you get scared that's the, literally the image that i get all the time when i look at a destiny number five it's like you will tap your toe in the water just to test the waters but because it's too cold you will take a step back instead of you just being that adventurous person and just jumping in and just feeling the cold coldness of that water that's what destiny number fives have to do just jump on in just do whatever it is you feel that your heart is calling you to do whatever it is you feel you also inspire a lot of people to do that as well so once you get your energies balanced and once you get to a place where you know what i'm a freedom seeker i do whatever i want i travel one day i may be in london one day i may be in tokyo the next day i may be in miami one day i may be in antarctica like as long as you can really embrace that energy you are a freedom seeker you can do whatever it is you want to do all right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning into this informational video for your destiny number. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, just make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And um, to see other videos like so in the near future, just make sure you hit that subscribe notification bell. The next video that I will be doing will be based on your heart desires. 
So again, make sure you hit that subscribe notification bell so you won't miss out on any other videos that I post in the near future. Well, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.